How come nobody's been able to nail this Skrillex bass? We just did. Stay tuned to the video to see how we did it. Also, stay tuned for this Sunday, the 14th. It's an excellent Black Friday sale for Ooh. an entire week. Yep. 14th to the 21st, tiered prices, Ooh. bundle deals. Ooh. Everything's crazy. Everything's on sale. <laughs>everybody my name is Danny Ferrari my name is Parker Immense we are excellent sound and we are back with an amazing remake for you guys today god damn it I love fucking chicken soup dude it's the chicken soup weather it's chicken soup season actually soup season yeah it is good soup happy good fall soup. happy Thanksgiving coming up very soon and speaking of Thanksgiving of course the best part about Thanksgiving is Black Friday so in four days it's actually gonna be excellent Black Friday Ooh. We're not waiting a whole nother week for this shit, dude. We want to buy shit. We want to sell shit. We want Black Friday now. It's so got to happen now. In four days, this Sunday, the 14th, it is going to be excellent Black Friday. And fuck a day, man. Let's do a whole week. Yeah, we're doing a whole week. Mm -hmm. So check out the pricing right over here. Bam! We got tiered prices. We got bundles. We're doing giveaways. Uh, one of my favorite bundles is the, is the house bundle. House bundle. We got technically house and in your house for 99 bucks. What a great idea. What a killer deal. Pick them both up right now. Yeah. So we're going to be slowly revealing more bundles. You're going to see them on Sunday. So be here at midnight. Midnight. Be here at midnight. Be here at midnight. Our biggest sale ever that we've ever done, obviously, for Black Friday week. Remember, it's the 14th through the 21st, yes, correct? Yes, Sunday to Sunday. Sunday, 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 Sunday. Motocross trucks jumping over our heads. Okay? Yeah, and if you miss it for this week, it's over. You know it's what done. I'm saying? We're not doing a, a regular Black Friday yep. sale. That's kind of boring, we're you know? We're doing it now. Yeah, we're doing it now for just a week. So make sure you guys are on our emailing list we're also going to be sending out some coupons to you guys too so if you're on our email list you might be getting some special coupons to you know you could stack on top of the steers you could fucking stack a tier on here and then a bundle right here stack them all and then up a fucking dude. coupon and next thing you know we owe you money we owe you 70 dollars <laughs> That could you're happen. Gonna, you're going to have packs, packs on packs, yeah. and we're going to be in debt. And we're going to be in debt to you. Now, without further ado, let's talk about fucking Skrillex and Habstract, Oh, dude. dude, this is such a banger track. Of course, uh, as always, this preset will be in the download description down below, along with the Ableton rack. But don't worry if you're not in Ableton. You can do it in any single DAW. We love you guys. Thank you so much. All right, back into the video. So, without further ado, Chicken Soup. God, I haven't heard anybody... Well, I mean, if you guys have seen our Skrillex videos... We go just, I mean, we go the extra mile anyway on our remakes, obviously, but we go even further with our Skrillex videos. You know why? Because nobody can fucking nail these sounds. Nobody. And we try our hardest to get as close as possible, and I think we do pretty good. Let us know if you think we did too in the comments down below. Chicken so, Soup was a slow burner too, slow man. Slow burner. That came out, it was cool, and then it blew up. Yeah, it's kind of like a legendary song now. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? It was like a low-key song. It was in that compilation album. Absolutely. So let's go ahead and play, and of course, we have everything here really made from scratch. Let's go ahead and hear what it sounds like. A lot of really cool stuff going on in this sound. Yeah, and I dude. want to go over first some of the pitch bending, actually, which was kind of the hardest part was to get the pitch. Now, we've mentioned this in other videos before, but if you guys want to see a video on how we do frequency matching and how we fine tune our sounds and do remakes, you got to show us some love. Give us a thousand likes on this video and we will show you guys how to actually remake any sound from scratch using frequency matching and pitch matching. It is a top secret technique, yeah. you guys. <laughs> All right, good. this is a big deal that we're going to show you but yes. we need those likes we need those subs it's kind of a big deal so give us some love and we'll happily do it so let's start off with an initiated patch sounding like this <laughs> dude it's like benny benassi <laughs> i can't get 
I can't get no. All right, cool. So we got to start it off with initiated. First things first, I'm gonna go ahead and pull this up and show you guys a little bit what's going on with the MIDI first, okay? So the first thing you're gonna to wanna to make sure that you do with your actual sound itself is you wanna make sure that you have your pitch bend set to 12 on the high end and 24 on the low end. And the reason why that is is because we had to automate some of the pitches going in. It was really hard to match, but we got it. This is essentially what's happening. Let me go ahead and show you guys. So if I pull up Serum, you can see some of the pitch bending. You can't really hear it. Right? And then right here it goes up. And when we when we put it sound in more, you'll be able to hear it more. But stuff like this is crazy. And all that stuff that's going on is making this, because it's the same line over and over again, right? But all these different little uh, pitch bend parts is making it a little bit more interesting. And of course, all the other sounds that are going on in between. We'll go over how these sounds are made in just a little bit. But let's go ahead and jump into it now that I went over the pitch bend. First thing, 12 and minus 24. And this is an FM sound. Uh, we could tell right away. So we're going to start with a sine wave, which usually we like to start with FM. I'm going to go ahead and set the FM on the warp mode, okay? And we're going to go ahead and set that to FM from B. And we're going to go ahead and put that up to right here at 49%. Okay, that looks good. We're also gonna go ahead and turn the level down like so, and then you're gonna make your first LFO and it's gotta look like this, okay? Make sure that's set to envelope mode, okay? And make sure it's set to quarter note and go ahead and put the LFO right there. It should be sounding like this. And you're hearing the pitching right now because of the pitch band automation that's going on. Nice. Okay, now that that's looking pretty good, let's go ahead and jump into oscillator B. We're gonna use a square shape and basic shapes. Okay, analog, basic shapes, that's how you get to it. Make sure you set it to a square and set it to plus four on the octave. <laughs> Right, and then the thing that really makes the pitch of this sound sound really interesting, and we talked about this in our other Skrillex videos. If you haven't seen them, here they are. Bam, boom, bam, all popped up right there. Okay, we've talked about these in some of his other ones in some of our FM videos right here. Right, you could talk about how the pitching is actually matched with the semitone. So what we did is we set the semitone to minus six. <laughs> And then to give it a little bit more pitching, we went ahead and added sync for the warp mode and we went ahead and set that to 1.01%. Very, very small sort of smidge of just a little bit of sync tuning, okay? Next, you're gonna go ahead and make your second LFO. Just go ahead and make it like this. You're gonna put it at like halfway and then have it pitched down a little bit. Set that to envelope and set that to eighth note. We're gonna come back to that in a little bit, okay? Make sure mono and legats are both turned on. Beautiful. Let's go ahead and add a little bit of noise right now. We're gonna go ahead and use the noise AC hum. It's in organics like so. AC hum one and go ahead and put the level to 30%. Nice, okay, that sounded pretty good. Let's go ahead and now add a scream low pass. I'm pretty sure that this sound was made in Massive and sometimes Massive has this tonality that's like really hard to get in Serum without using the mass. Even if you do use the Massive tables, there's like a phase knob, show it up on screen, the phase knob in uh, Massive. That's really, really hard to emulate yeah. in Serum. Maybe you guys know of a, of a way to emulate it better in Serum. Yeah, if there was a, a feature that had that specific, God, this Serum would be just insane. It'd be so sick. It's already insane as it is. But so we do our best to try to get it, I think we did a pretty damn good job. But really the filter, the Scream LP is from Massive. It's a very, very similar filter to what Massive has to offer. So make sure both A and B are going into the Scream low pass filter. Make sure cutoff set to 8425, resonance at 38%, drive at 11 and Scream at 33. With this filter, it's really about the drive, the resonance and the Scream, okay? These are kind of what's causing the distortion in the filter. And again, don't sleep on distorted filters, right? Let's see what this sounds like. <laughs> It cuts a little highs too. That kind of gives it a little bit more of that that massive -y tone, I feel like. You yeah, know and it's I mean? kind of sculpting the sound into, uh, you know, something that's cleaner. Right. You know? Exactly. But it also has, like, just those specific harmonic ranges of distortion right there, which I really yeah. appreciate. Okay, now that that's good, let's go ahead and get into the effects. If you guys want to get this project file and many, many more like this, you can get all the drums, you can get all the presets, everything that we made. Make sure you guys go check out our Patreon. The link is in the description down below. If you guys go and you click 
that link, you can see we have tons of different tiers from feedback to our legacy YouTube tier to our VIP tier. You guys check that out, pick which one works for you. And if you wanna get this project file, you wanna join the legacy tier, you can open that up and you'll see we have tons of project files for you guys all to download with all the sounds and presets in there. And of course our VIP tier, which also includes the project files and exclusive presets and samples for you guys. So check that out and support us on Patreon if you can. We really, really appreciate all our supporters. Thank you. The kick drum, dude. Yeah, well, we got we got special techniques as far as making uh, kick drums. We, we can do a video on that one day too if you guys want. 2,000 likes. 2,000 likes, I'll tell you how to make a kick drum. Another cool thing is like this psycho loop thing that's kind of going on in the middle. I couldn't, you know, I was trying to figure out what the sound was and it's... It's like a little scream and I realized yeah, I dude. put that in there. Let's go ahead and get back into it. So back into the effects of where we're at. Let's hear what we're sounding like so far. Okay, so still need a little bit of work. Let's go ahead and jump into the effects. First thing we're gonna use is Sign Shaper. Sign Shaper is also a very similar distortion that they have in Massive 2, but it's really touchy. So when you're messing with the drive, be careful when you're using it, but go ahead and set the drive to 22%, the mix to 39. <laughs> Nice, and let's go ahead and add an OTT compressor. Pretty much everything's stock here as far as uh, how it comes. Just make sure the gain is set to 12.4. That gets it nice and hairy. And it's, it's cleaning up the low end even yeah. before the filter. Absolutely, and make sure that you have the master turned up all the way too as well. Turn that master all the way up, okay? Are you allowed to do that? Yes, you can. Are you allowed to do Red that? Red is just color, motherfucker. Turn that shit Turn up. Turn that shit up, dude. We don't listen to fucking audio rules, dude. Yeah, who's was fucking Pensado telling who's us not fucking to fucking Pensado, peak dude. our shit? Sorry, Dave. Dave love come you, on, bro. bro. Peak your shit. Fuck it. Does fuck it sound it, dude. good, Dave? Does my shit sound good? If it doesn't, fuck you. Yeah. Right? Okay. Fucking, fucking Pensads. Pensa I like Pensados. I know. Too. I love him, too. Shout out Pensado. R.I.P., bro. Wait, did he No, die? dude. He's oh. alive. Shout out Pensado. <laughs> <laughs> he's a little deaf now, he's but oh, he's well, okay. You, you should you know? put it in the red more. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> fucking up his frequency. That sucks. Oh, I man. shouldn't say that. I love Pensado. Watch well, He's going to comment yeah, on our fuck, video I like, wish. fuck you guys. Yeah. <laughs> fuck you. Fuck you, we met him at NAN, remember? Yeah, he was super nice, man. Yeah, he was what super a great cool. guy. All right, next we're gonna go ahead and use an MG Low 12. Make sure the cutoff is all the way up. This is again, we're just kind of sculpting the high, but we're using the drive actually, because again, I want to do a video on this, but all the different types of drives that are in filters that people sleep on all the time. Got the Ferrari drive. Dope. Got the Lambo. That's right. You got the fucking uh, what's it? What's the other one? Mini Cooper. The Mini Coop drive. <laughs> Tesla. In the coop. In the coop. There Don't fall is. asleep. <laughs> On the drive, on drive filters. In the coop. In the coop. In the chicken coop. In the chicken coop. Okay, drive set to 13, fat at 20%. Turn it on, sounds like this. Let's hear the mix so far. It's getting there, it's getting mm -hmm. there. Just a little bit of processing is all we really need. Lastly, we're gonna go ahead and use the matrix here. We gotta do some weird shit going on. So first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and use LFO2 to control the master tune, okay? So I'm gonna say LFO2, go to the master tune, and I'm gonna go ahead and set this to, I think, one. Beautiful, okay, and then lastly, we went ahead and we put a macro on the master pitch tune, okay? So what was happening is we would hear the automation kind of come in where this master tune would only be essentially be in place later on in the sound. I think there's actually two patches with, with the original, I could be wrong, but I wanna go ahead and put a macro for macro number two to be the essentially the dry wet or the aux source for this pitch bend thing that we got going on. <laughs> It's just that those those notes right there are kind of pitching down a little bit. There is something to say about making an entire drop with one sound and keeping it interesting. Oh my God. It's you know so, what I'm yeah. saying? Like this pitch knob, dude. Right. You know what I'm saying? It's one sound the whole time besides yep. like the little fills. Yep. But dude, there's it's, something to say about that. Yeah. And like we wanted to keep it all into one preset if possible. So this is a kind of a way of doing it. And it's kind of interesting because then you can automate some of your sounds and make them a little bit more interesting. So when you guys go and use this in your own production, you you guys can go ahead and use that macro. Next, let's go ahead and adjust macro number one. So we're gonna go back to the oscillator page like so. I'm gonna go ahead and put macro one on the oscillator B's course pitch. Make sure it's just going forward like so. And we're just gonna set that to four, okay? <laughs> That's the B course pitch, okay? Now that is only happening in these two sort of very first notes right here. 
It's just kind of out of tune. You don't have to do this, but this is what we were doing to try to match the sound as best as possible. But we found that this was kind of an interesting way of doing that. You can also kind of really get crazy with this. If you really want to get nuts with this sound, if you put a macro on your course pitch, especially when you're using FM, smoke this fucking notch up, dude. Smoke fucking music, that shit, hit baby. This Let's letter, right? go. When you're using FM, try putting a macro on the course pitch of your carrier that's going into your oscillator right here. Using a course pitch can get some really interesting sound. If I just go ahead and play this note. You know, when you have your melody playing like so, you can also have it change to, and I have a lot of different tonalities and a lot of different variations, but just using coarse pitch on the carrier. Definitely try that out. Smoke that shit. Light your fucking bowl. Smoke it to the dome, dude. Take it. There it is. There it is. There okay. It is. So it's been a while since I hit a bowl at Notch, bro. Oh, dude, I was I was getting worried about you, man. Okay. I was getting worried. Sometimes you got to take a break. You know what I mean? Yeah, dude. Just kidding. We never take a break. Never. Always bake and never break. If it stops working, you just do more you of just it. Just do more you of do it. Do more. Dude, you do don't more take nuts. breaks. No. F knowledge. Not marijuana. We no. don't smoke. No, we do not. Okay, B course pitch. Now that that's good, uh, you guys can go ahead and set that up however you'd like. Go ahead and play around with it. Let's get into the processing. Let's hear how it sounds. Beautiful, nice. Okay, now for the processing, we wanna go ahead and use some EQ. And again, we used frequency matching. And the big thing about this sound that you can really notice, of course, if you look at his, these two notches right here. That is the majority of the sound right here. So we have a little bit of dip right here as far as to try to match his even closer. So that's a little bit, of, and of course cutting the lows because we have a sub. This right here is really important. Thousand likes, tell you how to do it. Okay, next let's go ahead and get into the OTT. Okay, you can use OTT as a third party. Zypher makes one. Go ahead and pull up to some highs, some mids, and a little bit of lows. And you know what? If you already have Serum, you can use uh, just Serum FX and use their multi-band compressor too, which is not a bad choice actually, because I don't really like the way the other OTT sounds for your yeah, FL gang. For sure. But yeah, not put OTT on everything. Okay, <laughs> so now we got that four dBs of pushed up on the output, some highs, some mids, some lows, time to 214. And then I think I just duplicated it again because I know Abstract likes to do a lot of thick OTT niche. Mm -hmm. Yeah, just duplicate it over twice. <laughs> Without it. Okay, a little bit more present. And then another EQ just copying from before, because again, when we add the OTTs, we have to re-EQ because it adds extra character. Accentuating those two harmonics. And then a little bit of a reverb rack. Uh, you guys can kind of make your own. We do our own little dry wet thing with a glue compressor on the reverb. Dry is nothing, uh, wet is this. And then, of course, a utility at the end for some width. Let's go ahead and set that up at 178. Let's hear it in context. And then lastly, we're using this little FOMO sort of volume shaper chain. If you guys don't have side chain stuff, you can kind of make your own with doing it this way. Whenever I'm doing anything that's four on the floor, I don't like to use a trigger for a side chain. I usually use something like Kickstart or I'll use a utility volume shaper or volume shaper or sometimes LFO tool because you have a little bit more control and to get that sort of swell, I can never really get it with using just a kick trigger. I'm sure I could, but it's like more of a pain in the ass. Yeah, and also there's different moments where you want a different shape for the side chain yeah. too. Exactly. And you can't, you would have to make like three different side chains. Yeah. You know? And so it's way easier like this. You could just bend it. Absolutely. So definitely recommend doing that for when you're doing four on the floor stuff. We are going to be doing a video on side chaining hopefully very, very soon. If you guys want to see that too, please let us know down in the comments below. And also you have a chance to win a pack of your choice just by commenting down below. Top liked comment is going to go ahead and win a pack of their choice. So also the artist series packs are on sale this Sunday. Oh, they are. They are. Yeah, Great. that's right. Great bundles. What a crazy transition. bundles, dude. Love it, dude. Love it, dude. All right, so hopefully that you guys enjoyed that. We definitely enjoyed making that. Let us know what you guys want to see next. We're going to go ahead and play this out. But before we do, please subscribe. Trying to hit 40K. And don't forget that the Black Friday sale week goes on in three days. And it's going to be going for seven days from the 14th through the 21st. Yes. Don't get it twisted. Get on the email list. We will send you coupons, bundles, tiers. All that shit is free ready to shit, go. Free shit, dude. Free shit. Free shit. Every producer needs to be on this shit. Every dude. producer needs to be on We do it for you guys. I'm on the list, bro, and I get this shit for free. I made the list. You made the list. <laughs> <laughs> all right, let's go and play this one out. We will see you guys in the next one. Thank you so much. Thank you, guys. <laughs>
Spice Girl in the cool job. In the cool.